one, zero, nine, or two, eight meters. At bottom, repeat, at bottom. At the bottom? Yep. Have you ever considered the fascinating links between the deepest parts of space and the most hidden corners of our oceans? Both are dark, inhospitable realms where human life can't survive unprotected, where the crushing pressures alone can be fatal. Gravity behaves differently in each place, giving explorers a sense of weightlessness or buoyancy, assuming they can withstand these environments at all. And both remain shrouded in mystery, with our oceans housing countless undiscovered forms of life, while space holds secrets that are still far beyond our understanding. It was intriguing to learn that NASA, an agency devoted to the exploration of outer space, has also directed its focus to the unexplored depths of our oceans. Why would NASA explore the ocean at all? Get ready to dive into an astonishing journey through NASA's undersea facilities, strange marine life, and an environment so harsh that we've mapped more of Mars than the ocean floor of our own planet. In 1957, a year before NASA's founding, an article in the Journal of the Royal Society of Arts noted that the deep oceans cover over two-thirds of the surface of the world, and yet more is known about the shape of the surface of the moon than is known about that of the bottom of the ocean. Before advanced sonar technology, we had very little knowledge of what lay beneath the sea's surface. While we've made remarkable advances, mapping 23.4% of the ocean floor at high resolution, vast portions still remain a mystery, despite being larger than the surface area of Mars. NASA's purpose since its inception in 1958 was clear. Expand humanity's knowledge of phenomena in the atmosphere and outer space and create the vehicles and technologies to get there. Exploring Earth's oceans wasn't initially part of its mission, but in 1978, NASA launched CSAT, its first oceanographic satellite, designed to collect data on ocean winds, surface temperatures, wave heights, and other features. This initiative helped scientists understand our planet's oceans and their impact on global climate. However, NASA's deeper ventures into ocean exploration truly began in the early 2000s. One unique connection between ocean depths and space is in astronaut training. About 8.7 kilometers off the coast of Key Largo, Florida, sits Aquarius Reef Base, the world's only undersea research laboratory. Built in 1986, this compact three-room habitat can accommodate up to six people and provide scientists, or aquanauts, the chance to live underwater for extended periods through saturation diving, a technique that enables prolonged dives by acclimating the human body to the depth's pressure. In 2001, NASA recognized Aquarius's potential as a space training site. The cramped quarters and isolation of the base provided an ideal simulation of the conditions astronauts experience on the International Space Station ISS. This led to the creation of the NEEMO, NASA Extreme Environment Mission Operations Program, which has since hosted 23 missions with crews from various space agencies. For up to three weeks, astronauts would live as aquanauts, practicing experiments, adjusting to life in confined quarters, and even conducting underwater spacewalks in bulky diving suits to simulate the conditions of a real spacewalk. This immersive training was invaluable for preparing astronauts for missions to the Moon and Mars. But NASA's use of the ocean goes beyond human training. Some of the most significant oceanic research prepares not astronauts, but the machines that will one day explore the vast oceans of other planets. The parallels between the depths of our oceans and the challenges of deep space provide a unique testing ground for the technology that could one day explore alien seas, the largest oceans outside Earth. Now let's take a deeper dive into the mysteries of alien oceans. Our solar system is home to some truly massive bodies of water beyond Earth. Take, for example, Jupiter's moon Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus. Both of these icy moons are believed to have vast oceans beneath their thick frozen shells, reaching depths that dwarf even Earth's mightiest seas. Although Europa is only a quarter of Earth's diameter, scientists estimate that it holds twice as much water as all of Earth's oceans combined. This fact alone is compelling, especially given that these oceans are shrouded in perpetual darkness. Yet, with a rocky seabed beneath, the conditions may well support life, making them some of the most intriguing locations in the search for extraterrestrial organisms. NASA and other space agencies are strategizing on how to investigate these alien seas for signs of life. 
in 2024, NASA will launch the Europa Clipper mission, designed to perform detailed flybys of Europa to measure the thickness of its icy crust, analyze the composition of its ocean, and gather vital information about the moon's potential to host life. This mission is only a first step, a precursor to more ambitious plans that could involve deploying cryobots, robots equipped with nuclear-powered radiators designed to melt through the approximately 10-kilometer-thick ice layer. These cryobots could descend into Europa's ocean to explore it directly, revealing for the first time what might live in its inky depths. Due to Europa's thick ice, however, radio signals won't be able to travel directly to the surface. Instead, these robots would relay messages up a cable system brought along with the probe, meaning they would also need the autonomy to navigate, sample, and adapt to the unknown conditions of these high-pressure environments. This vision for exploring alien oceans brings us back to our own largely unexplored oceans. Here on Earth, the deepest oceanic point, the Mariana Trench, reaches 11 kilometers. Interestingly, due to Europa's weaker gravity, the hydrostatic pressures in its oceans may be more similar to Earth's than one might expect. Estimates suggest that Europa's ocean pressure lies between 130 and 260 megapascals, comparable to depths of about 13 to 26 kilometers on Earth. It's a formidable environment, but within the reach of today's extreme engineering. Our own deep seas offer a glimpse of the resilience of life in such conditions. For instance, in 1977, the Galapagos Hydrothermal Expedition discovered something remarkable. Using a reinforced remotely operated vehicle, ROV, to withstand extreme pressures, researchers were amazed to find thriving ecosystems surrounding hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. They encountered tube worms, crabs, fish, and entire communities flourishing in an environment previously assumed to be barren. These discoveries highlighted the astonishing adaptability of life to the most inhospitable places on Earth and hinted at what might be possible on Europa or Enceladus. With NASA on the verge of launching missions aimed at exploring the deepest waters in search of previously unseen forms of life, what better way to prepare than by continuing to explore the mysterious depths of our own planet? As scientists delved deeper into the ocean, they uncovered a host of bizarre and unexpected life forms, adapted to survive in conditions that seem uninhabitable. There were shrimp-like amphipods the size of a human hand, and ghostly, bigfin squid, stretching up to eight meters long, their tentacles drifting through the water like something out of science fiction. These discoveries were made in the Hadal Zone, a region of the ocean between 6,000 and 11,000 meters deep, named after Hades, the god of the underworld. In this forbidding darkness, life has evolved remarkable adaptations, thriving in ways no one could have anticipated. This resilience offers scientists clues to how life might survive on other planets and moons under equally harsh conditions. The ocean's deepest areas are primarily located near the fault lines of tectonic plates, where one plate slips beneath another, forming deep trenches. These trenches create unique V-shaped channels that trap organic debris from the ocean above, accumulating it into nutrient-rich sludge. When a dead creature drifts down into these trenches, Hadalzone organisms somehow detect it within minutes and rapidly converge to feed. Other creatures in these depths rely on the energy and nutrients emitted from hydrothermal vents, a source of life in otherwise pitch-black surroundings. If we were to map out all of these trenches together, they would form an area roughly the size of Australia, a vast hidden continent beneath the waves, still largely unexplored. NASA envisions exploring these remote trenches using advanced autonomous drones, potentially deploying entire swarms of them to locate thermal vents and map the landscape. These drones would be equipped with onboard AI, similar to that used by the Mars Perseverance rover, allowing them to navigate rugged terrain and seek out areas of scientific interest. But the task is daunting. The drones must endure not only extreme pressures but also rapid fluctuations in temperature that can reach hundreds of degrees around thermal vents. In 2014, one such deep-sea drone, Nereus, was deployed in the Kermadec Trench off New Zealand, an area selected as a proving ground for new deep-sea technologies. Unfortunately, Nereus, despite previous successful dives, succumbed to the crushing pressures and imploded, with fragments later found floating on the ocean surface. NASA's newest deep-sea probe, Orpheus, is Nereus's successor. Smaller and lighter, 
Orpheus is designed for enhanced maneuverability, making it potentially adaptable for future missions to explore alien oceans, such as those on Europa. Although Orpheus has not yet reached the Hadal Zone, it is currently being tested in shallower waters to refine its capabilities. Its streamlined design might one day allow it to be transported aboard a spacecraft and deployed in the oceans of Europa or other icy moons. This prospect is closer than we might think. In 2023, NASA's Planetary Exploration Science Technology Office, PESTO, convened a team of 40 leading researchers at the California Institute of Technology to assess the feasibility of sending a robotic mission to one of these extraterrestrial oceans. Their conclusion? The mission is feasible scientifically compelling, and the most plausible near-term way to search for life directly in an alien ocean. With Europa Clipper gathering crucial information about Europa's ocean and experimental work on autonomous submarines like Orpheus progressing, it's becoming more conceivable that we may see an ocean exploration mission within our lifetime, if a human-made drone ever glides through the dark seas of an alien world. What might it find? In a way, it may look eerily familiar. After all, we too are creatures of the water, with our earliest ancestors originating in Earth's primordial seas. When the day arrives, and a robotic explorer ventures into Europa's hidden ocean, it won't just be a journey across space, but a journey back to where complex life began, within the nurturing embrace of liquid water. Several private underwater vehicles are making significant contributions to deep sea exploration, aiming to expand our understanding of the ocean's most inaccessible depths these vehicles vary from autonomous underwater vehicles, AUVs, to remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, and they have been essential in uncovering new marine ecosystems, species, and geological formations. Abyssa's AUV Fleet The French company Abyssa has developed advanced AUVs capable of reaching depths of up to 6,000 meters. These vehicles are specially designed for high-resolution mapping, locating, and surveying deep-sea environments. Recent campaigns by Abyssa have explored hydrothermal vents and mapped oceanic canyons, focusing on ecological protection and sustainability. Abyssa's operations are notable for minimizing environmental impact, and the company has integrated new technologies, such as electromagnetic sensors, to enhance exploration capabilities. OceanGate's Titan this private submersible, famous for its Titanic exploration missions, is capable of diving to around 4,000 meters. Although recently controversial due to a high-profile incident, Titan marked an innovative step in deep-sea exploration. OceanGate has contributed to raising public awareness about deep-sea expeditions, despite the risks associated with extreme depths. Taurus ROV by Pelagic Research Services, recently acquired by the University of South Florida and the Florida Institute of Oceanography, Taurus is a highly capable ROV that operates at depths of up to 2.5 miles. Equipped with manipulator arms and 4K video streaming, Taurus aims to study deep sea environments, including corals and sharks, while offering live streaming for educational purposes. Its initial missions have included the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, and the ROV has the potential for groundbreaking findings in deep sea biodiversity and pollution analysis. Caladan Oceanic's Limiting Factor. Operated by Victor Vescovo's team, Limiting Factor has achieved record-breaking dives to the Mariana Trench and other oceanic trenches worldwide. This vehicle has uncovered unique marine life and gathered data from the deepest points of the planet, underscoring the ocean's largely unexplored and biodiverse ecosystems. These private underwater vehicles represent a growing interest in the deep-sea frontier with each mission revealing new insights about our planet's last unexplored regions. From biodiversity assessments to geological surveys, these findings are essential for advancing ocean science and protecting marine resources. Water is the essence of all life as we know it, instead of the barren, rocky landscapes we often imagine when thinking of other worlds. The concept of exploring alien oceans brings a certain familiarity. These distant, submerged worlds might feel unexpectedly welcoming evoking a sense of returning to a place deeply ingrained within us, though we have never truly been there. Could something live in those alien depths? We don't know. But even the possibility stirs our imaginations. If life could arise on two separate worlds within our own solar system, it would suggest that life is not a rare phenomenon, but may flourish across the cosmos. 
This discovery alone would revolutionize our understanding of life's place in the universe, suggesting that life could be abundant and, perhaps, inevitable. The real challenge, however, lies in proving it. Only by refining our exploration technologies on Earth, building equipment that can withstand and navigate the pressure, darkness, and isolation of deep-sea environments, can we eventually pierce the icy crusts of moons like Europa. This is how we'll begin to unlock their inky, hidden oceans and uncover whatever secrets they may hold. For NASA, the quest to find extraterrestrial life doesn't start millions of miles away. It begins here, in our own oceans. By perfecting our methods in the extreme depths of Earth's seas, we set the stage for a monumental journey. One that might one day reveal, beneath an alien sea, life that is truly otherworldly. As we've seen, the mysteries hidden beneath our oceans may hold clues not only to the origins of life on our own planet, but also to the potential for life in oceans beyond Earth. From studying hydrothermal vents to experimenting with autonomous technology like deep-sea drones, each mission brings us one step closer to unveiling secrets that could shape our understanding of the cosmos. If you enjoyed diving into the unknown with us, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest discoveries. And let us know in the comments. What do you think NASA will find next in these uncharted depths? Will it be the evidence of life, strange geological formations, or something entirely unexpected? Until next time, keep exploring the vast and mysterious realms around and beneath us.